The Mississippi gopher frog is one of the most threatened species in the United States. They are listed as critically endangered, and their population in the wild is less than 100. The gopher frog has a hard road ahead. There are so many factors that play into their diminishing numbers. Gopher frogs are amphibians, who breathe and retain moisture through their skin. Their skin is so sensitive that we handle them with gloves so we do not contaminate them with our own oils and dirt. They are losing habitat rapidly to human encroachment and due to the contamination of their ponds. The gopher frog relies on another animal, the gopher tortoise, who digs burrows in the soft sandy soil. The frog occupies the burrow along with the tortoises, which happen to be another threatened species. You may ask yourself why it matters that these frogs are endangered. And the truth is, over 40% of amphibian species are disappearing, and that is a huge indicator on the health of the Earth. Frogs are a keystone species. They keep everything in a very delicate balance. One forest in Panama has seen the frogs completely vanish. Imagine walking outside on a warm summer's night and not hearing the call of frogs. It's completely silent. That's what's happened in Panama. The streams the frogs lived in are now covered in algae and are very dirty, unable to sustain life. The life that once teemed there has slowed to a crawl. The animals that eat the frogs are gone. It's a vicious cycle. Frogs help humans in many ways. They keep our bug population in check, especially helpful when you consider that frogs eat mosquitoes and their larvae. Pain medications have been developed from frogs as well as medications for infections such as HIV. Scientists call frogs a medical gold mine. One of the scariest impacts to amphibians, and specifically frogs, is a disease caused by a fungus, referred to as BD or chytrid. This is a fungus that alters the frog's skin. Remember, frogs breathe through their skin. Once a frog has chytrid, which is highly contagious, it is like the frog has been put into a plastic bag. Slowly, they suffocate and die. It is a terrible fate, but researchers have been able to successfully treat infected frogs. The problem is that no one has found a way to treat the habitat. Sadly, BD is a worldwide problem and impacts much of the U.S., even here in Tennessee. What we are researching at the zoo is how to breed with the highest success possible. We have been able to produce viable offspring through IVF, or in vitro fertilization. In 2015, we hatched out hundreds of climbing toads after using IVF. This triumph helps with other species as well. Hopefully, research will bring back many species from the brink of extinction. Seceding to the loss of our amphibians is not an option. This video is made possible by a grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services.